Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I'm here to do the zodiac sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm almost done, guys. I'm sorry I'm so late doing videos, but there's a lot of stuff going on in my own personal life right now. Um, our family pet is sick and dying. We're trying to find a vet that, that does in-home euthanasia because he's, he's uh, a Rottweiler shepherd mix and he won't let you pick him up to, to transport him. And he's been very sick. So anyhow, I'm running behind on these. I do apologize. Um, guys, if you're returning um, viewers, thank you so much for being here. I really do truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that life is blessing you. I hope these readings bless us with some good news for the month of June. Um, and for those of you that are new here, welcome in. I hope you get messages that you're seeking. Um, I set my intention that we're doing relationship readings, but sometimes finances and career peaks its little head in there too. Um, so whatever I see, I will most definitely deliver. Um, if you are single, single, then hopefully it'll apply in ways of other relationships in your life. Uh, if you like this video and it's resonating with you and you want to go deeper into it, there will be an extended version available in my Patreon. <clears throat> it's less than $5 a month and you get all 12 Zodiacs. Um, all 12 extended Zodiacs, and you also get exclusive content, pick a pile readings and spiritual guidance that you won't get over here on YouTube. So if you're interested, um, check it out. It's in the description box below. I'm also running some specials right now on my readings in order to raise some money to go to Vegas to um, officiate Rich Lop and his fiance's wedding. And um, I'm going to be purchasing a really nice gift for them, I, which at this moment, I haven't decided what it's going to be. I've been doing a lot of uh, browsing. Um, I've even talked to a few friends that make um, handmade stuff, and I just haven't found the perfect gift yet. But if you'd like to contribute, there's some specials I'm running. There's also a PayPal me link. If you know Rich, if he's, you know, been beneficial in your journey and you'd like to donate, there is a PayPal me link. And other than that, we're going to get into your reading today. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to start with the bottom of the deck energy here. Look at this. We've got the high priestess and the high priest right there underneath the deck. <clears throat> so uh, it appears to be a very spiritual reading. On your clarifying deck, we've got the chariot with the queen of swords. So I see some logic, some reasoning, some intuition, some healthy boundaries, uh, but we see progress. Let's see how it's going to play out, whether it's romantic or business or your own ascension, right? Let's check this out. <laughs> Look at, we've got death card, which is transformation. I told you, feels like it's going to be a very spiritual reading. Pisces is a very spiritual sign, so I'm not a bit surprised. So we have the death card, which is transformation, clarified by the tower. Wow. Did I say spiritual? Holy crap. So let's get all your energies out before I start trying to channel into this. Can I ask him right now or do you want me to you can vacuum. Just keep my door closed. Sorry, guys. My son's doing his chores. School's out, so I got to work around him. Um, okay, your next card is the Seven of Wands. It says Endurance, clarified by the Eight of Wands. I told you I'm seeing progress here. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles, but a bing, with the Page of Pentacles. Okay. And then we have Eight of Wands with the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. All right. So it's starting off a little rocky over here. Um, but this tower seems to be something very beneficial for you in the month of June. 
Now the major hitters that we have here, of course, Pisces showing up in your own reading. Um, we have Taurus. And Cancer. Scorpio. And then we have all water. Well, we have everybody here. We've got water. We've got air. We've got everybody. Everybody's showing up. All right. So I'm going to get your <clears throat> oracles out. And then we're going to channel this. So we have available. I am open. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can offer. Oh, let me see. I think they're missing some punctuation in this deck. It says, change me, divine beloved, into one who can offer you even the most baffling problems, knowing you'll carry me to the right solutions at the right time. If I am utterly open, receptive, and available, I am open. So it looks to me like there's something here that's coming towards you. And you're, you're actually very spiritually guided. It's like you're, you're cracked open. You're allowing. Um, I don't think you were, and maybe you aren't in the beginning of the month. Because we have Queen of Swords and we have the Seven of Wands, which can be very guarded energy. Uh, but then we see the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups. So that is an opening. It's it's like um, whatever this tower is, is bringing in a shift in your perception. It's bringing in with the Eight of Wands some kind of news. You've got the Eight of Wands twice. So this is good news. It could be travel. Um, it's absolutely fast moving. It's one of the fastest moving energies along with the chariot. Under the chariot is the temperance card. So this could be um, energetically someone you've been waiting for. If you're dealing with a uh, cancer or another Pisces or a Taurus, that's just in a Scorpio. That's just a little extra confirmation, but you don't have to be. Um, next, we have the shamanic he healer, cleansing and attunement. Very spiritual energy for you guys. I'm not really seeing romance. This feels more like um, adaptability and shift in consciousness for you. We'll read from the deck for this. Next, we have peace. I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. So you're available and you're open. If it is romance, we'll look at romance. We have protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Ooh, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And last but not least, we have look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. All right. So we definitely have communication here. Uh, the Queen of Swords is somebody who speaks her truth. She's very strong, ambitious. She has healthy boundaries. Um, I also see forward movement with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. But we've got wisdom, intuition, guidance, openness. I don't know, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. It feels to me like now if this is in relationships, I'm not getting a romantic vibe. This feels more like healing. It feels like you're healing from something or maybe even doing shadow work, right? Transformation with the tower. You could be going through that dark night of the soul. You could be going through some very challenging times in your life, but this tower is a blessing. It's bringing in progress and growth and possibly even financial security. When you have the page of pentacles, this is, you know, 
um, money. It's physical. You can bite it, bury it in the backyard. It'll be there 20 years from now. Um, it appears to be some kind of an offering that is, you know, it, it starts off as a seed and has the potential to grow into the pinnacle of pentacles, which is, you know, the 10 of pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is about stability, security. Um, it's money that's inherited. It's family money. It's old money. Um, sometimes it, it's, you know, value. It, it doesn't have to do with actual physical money. It has to do with self-worth, commitment, um, secure commitment, things that we are committed to in the physical realm, not in the mental, spiritual, or um, emotional realm, but in the physical realm. So honestly, it feels to me, I guess I need to dig a little here to see the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so you got the world. There seems, in, in the Knight of Swords, there's fast moving communication. So you're gonna receive some kind of communication in the month of June that is gonna free you. It's going to open you up. It's very healing energy with the tower and the death card. Something is changing. And with the deception and protection, um, this could very well be a personal issue. It may not be romantic. It could be um, a friend or, or somebody who is duplicitous or has been in the past. This could be telling yourself things for many, many years that, that, you know, could be internal work that you're doing, transformative work, shadow work, where you've been living a lie. You've been um, deceiving yourself. It doesn't have to be others who are deceiving you. Um, but it certainly could be that you receive some kind of gossip because a lot of times the eight of wands with the knight of swords, queen of swords can be harsh gossip. Maybe you hear something or you're told something or you see something that really hits you in a certain way and shifts a perception that you've had, a limited perception because I see you opening up I see you finding peace and resolution somehow, some way in the month of June. And I see that this tower is change, it's a game changer for the better. It's moving you forward. It's moving, it could be literal movement. You could actually move your home or move work, move your job, because there's pen, your 3D reality. Um, Ten of Pentacles can be a family dynamic. It can be your home. It can be a marriage. It could be something is very pivotally changing for you. And I think it's a shift within that changes your outer experience. It's, you know, look inside you and examine what is causing you to feel this way. Now, if it's you that's been living a lie, maybe you've been in a relationship or a family dynamic where you were telling yourself, you know, I need to be here for X, Y, and Z, or I need to leave here because of X, Y, and Z, or I need to change jobs, or I need to um, put finances first instead of um, health or, or relationships. This feels like self. I have to be honest. It feels like self. We do have the fool underneath the high priestess and priest with the ace of pentacles. See, there's something changing for you. Uh, for some of you, because under that's the four of cups, it just kind of feels to me like life has been, it feels like you've been living some kind of a of life that you weren't happy with. And because the four of cups is apathy, it's boredom, it's my no thank you card. And then you go from the energy of being guarded and harsh. And, you know, if this is a relationship, whoever the queen of swords is, she can be kind of 
harsh. Um, it depends if she's in her shadow attribute or if she's in her light attribute. In the light attribute, she's she's smart, she's cunning, she's <clears throat> she speaks her truth, she's ambitious, she's guarded, she has healthy boundaries, she's careful about her environment and the people she allows into it. I just don't see any players here other than the high priest and the high priestess, which could be your spirit guides. This could be your inner spiritual self, your mas inner masculine feminine, higher self. I'm not seeing any people. Unless it's a page of pentacles, which could be a child. Maybe you're dealing with a family issue. I want to read the Shamanic Healer. It's a new deck and I'm just learning it. So let's see what it has to say and see if it changes the vibe at all. Cleansing and attunement. The Shamanic Healer brings you beneficial energy and personal or professional news. See, news. I see that. Communication. Some form of healing is coming your way. If you're dealing with physical issues, the shaman is here to help heal your physical issues. Difficulties of an emotional or psychological nature can be remedied through your connection with your powerful spirit guides as well. And you do have high priest, high priestess. Even community or familial concerns can be resolved. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Meditate on the issue or the part of the body that may be problematic. Call upon the shaman to bring the eternal spirit, the divine healer to you and see or sense this powerful filling you, this power filling you up, clearing the problem and bringing radiant light to you physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Ask this healing spirit to give guidance on what you can do to resolve your issues. Since the shaman often engages in ceremonial ritual, your process may be aided by lighting a candle, playing music, or burning incense or sage during your meditation. An affirmation you can use is, I open my heart. See, look, I am open. I am open. I open my heart, mind, and body to the energy of the shamanic healer and guides. Divine consciousness fills every cell, every thought, and every area of my life. All right, so since this is a general reading, it's going to become a more specific reading when I take it into the extended. What I'm feeling for uh, Pisces in the month of June is any obstacles, whether they're physical, spiritual, mental, emotional, because it's going to be obviously unique to each viewer. I see divine intervention. I see your spirit guides coming in and bringing you some kind of awareness or epiphany. And it doesn't have to be a download that you get just through thinking or feeling. Although we do have very in intu shit, Tracy, intuitive teachers here. I mean, the high priest is a teacher. The high priestess is your own intuition. So you've got external help and internal help. But the tower is bringing in extreme change for you in the month of June. There is something that is it, it, it could be communication that's abrupt, unexpected. It could be a text. It could be a phone call. It could be a decision that you make. You could be the one bringing the tower down, changing something. <clears throat> I see where you're fighting because the seven of wands is, you know, fighting for what you believe in. It's standing your ground. You might even make, you might make some very strong decisions in the month of June to make huge changes in your life, in your career, 
in your relationships, in your family dynamic, in your home. But look at this beautiful outcome. So we have the Eight of Wands twice, and we have the Nine of Cups. Whatever's happening for you in the month of June, it is moving you and pushing you toward your own self-fulfillment. This is you choosing you by the looks of it. It's you finding out something or someone that was deceptive towards you, or this could be a complete and utter change and shift in your own perception where you stop lying to yourself about an aspect of your life that needs to change and transform that you've been resisting with the seven of wands, fighting, holding back. But you got aces hidden under the deck here. Now, the aces aren't on the table, so it's probably coming in the near future. I wouldn't be certain that it's coming in June, but I see you ending a cycle because of whatever this, and there's that hierophant again. For some of you, you could be ending a marriage or a long-term commitment, which doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a job. But with the hierophant twice and the ten of pentacles, it could be something that you are very committed to, something you are building in your physical life that you are tired of, four of cups, apathetic toward, bored with, ready for change. And it looks to me like something is shifting in your awareness um, that is going to allow you to make these changes, to be open to making the changes. And it says, with peace, I am a being of love and release all negative energy. So if it's a relationship where there's been negativity and deception, you are divinely guided and protected and supported in whatever decisions you make. Now, obviously, this could also play out in a family dynamic, you know, maybe Parents, sometimes high priest, high priestess could be parents, but I don't feel that for you. I kind of feel like this is more about your spiritual development and growth, like you're on some kind of an awakening of some sort with the tower and the death card. That's like a huge awakening, um, whether it's spiritual or just, you know, the eyes finally see something that it has refused or blocked seeing coming to a decision or, or it's directionally moving things away from <clears throat> something else. <laughs> you already know with intuition, you're being asked to go within and to really use your intuition and examine your feelings. How do you feel in your home environment? How do you feel in your work environment? How do you feel in challenging, any challenging aspects of your life? And are you ready for extreme change? Because it looks like in the month of June, there is an opportunity for you to actually make an extreme change in your life for the better. And with the Ten of Pentacles being clarified by the Page of Pentacles, and then, you know, in the near future after this cycle, whatever this is for you, whatever chapter you're closing or opening, because, you know, the end of one chapter is always the beginning of another. Um, I just feel like you're finding balance where there was imbalance. And it does come with, with communication of some sort. Yeah, there's been a lot of, so we've got the five of wands, the nine of swords to the hierophant. Some of you guys are maybe in a marriage or a family dynamic that has been filled with challenges and, and worry. Could be worry about money. Some of you could be ending a marriage. Others of you, you just worried and stressed about, you know, anything that's that's creating problems. It's kind of cool looking though. 
I think it is. Sorry, my kid's home from school, guys. Yeah, I mean, I could get more specific, but that's what the extended is for. I intend to go to the extended and kind of find out what information is coming in. But as a general reading and all the spiritual um, energy around this with the death card, the tower, temperance, high priest, high priestess, shaman, shamanic healing. It really feels to me like this is a very pivotal time and it almost feels like a Saturn return for some of you. Feels like a very pivotal time of assessment. <clears throat> Areas of your life that have been out of balance, that need to be balanced. Um, relationships that need to be looked at and worked on or released, released. Um, I just think you're ready for a growth spurt. And I think you're going to do it. I see you doing it, if this is resonating with you. And we're already in the first week of June, so this tower moment, this transformation might already be occurring for you. But it has to do with your destiny. I can feel it. There's some kind of, of an awakening or an awareness Um. You could find out in like, yeah, and I'm just beating a dead horse by now. I'm repeating myself with the deception and protection and protection and, and cleansing. See cleansing and attunement cleansing. It's like, it's like doing a life assessment, looking at your friendships, looking at your job, looking at your relationships, looking at your marriage. If you have one or long-term commitments, if you have them, it's looking at them. It's seeing them with the eyes of the eagle, because I'm seeing the eagle here, seeing the bigger picture, being more aware, being more attuned, right, with intuition and wisdom. And it's creating change, big change. Eight of wands twice, knight of swords, the chariot, the fool. Ace of Pentacles. What's under that boredom? Ooh, Eight of Swords. Yes, restriction. You're freeing yourself from something or someone. And it's right. It's the right time. It's the right moment. It's the right thing to do. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. And it feels to me like you're you're freeing yourself, almost like you're, you're getting out of some kind of a imprisonment whether it's, you know, your own thoughts, because we have the eight of swords, the nine of swords. Um, I think that you've been telling yourself a lie about certain things. And I think you've been resisting looking at the truth. And I think that you're, something is going to happen, whether you get news or a download or, or you have a dream or just an awareness, something opens your eyes and you see the bigger picture. And you make a decision, a life-changing decision to do what makes you happy. That's what I'm hearing. You're about to make changes in your life that are going to help you to do things that make you happy. You're no longer guarding yourself or lying to yourself. You're you're opening up to the idea that you are worthy. Nine of cups. My happiness matters. My wishes matter. And I'm feeling resistance. I don't know why. Psychically, I feel you resistant or have been resistant. I feel like you've been unhappy with the Four of Cups, stressed with challenges. And I think something is going to shift for you in the month of June. And I'm not sure how that shift is going to occur. For some of you, it's absolutely 
external communication. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands twice. I feel like it's you making the changes, though. I don't feel like it's somebody else telling you what you have to do. I think it's you finally saying, I'm tired of other people telling me what I have to do. I feel like your soul is moving you towards self-love, towards making choices that are best for you. Maybe even by divine interference, you know. That tower can be spirit interfering, saying enough is enough is enough. You keep building on this lie. You keep building on this deception, this, this belief. And you're not happy and you're not at peace. And I see you craving peace and change. And I think you're going to create it in the month of June. And I think it doesn't really matter whether it's in relationships or, or job, career, or spiritual growth. But it's, it's grounding in your physicality. This is not you just spiritually shifting. This is you spiritually shifting and making decisions and choices that frees you from certain situations and moves you toward choosing peace, happiness, wish fulfillment. So I'm going to leave this here, guys, and I'm going to take this over to the extended and, you know, over in Patreon, it's a much, much, much smaller group. So I'll be able to get some details that is more general here. I mean, here I'm reading for almost 4,000 people. Over there I'm reading for like 27. So if you want to join me over there and you're not a Patreon, um, then know that you will get a much clearer vision of what this has to do with in your own personal life. But I'd be willing to bet you already know. With the high priestess and the look inside yourself, I would be willing to bet that I've been pinging on something within you. You're like, yeah, you're right, Tracy. I've been self-sacrificing or I've been lied to or I've been lying to myself. I've been stuck and I've been challenged and I've been closed off and it's time for me to open up and to cleanse my energetic field, whether it's from toxic people, toxic workplace, toxic relationships, whatever it is, <clears throat> fear of not being financially secure, you know, whatever keeps you up at night, whatever you've been wherever you've been desiring change, I'd be willing to know you've already got your message today. So if this is where we part, I am grateful to be able to read for you. If this has resonated, please hit that thumbs up. And just a little advice from a spiritual teacher that I, I feel is my role. Um, never, ever, ever sacrifice your own happiness and your own dreams in order to make everybody else happy. We all want our friends and family and co-workers. We always want to please people. There's nothing wrong with that, except for when it holds us back from pursuing what really, really we came here to be. Everybody comes in with a soul plan and everybody has a destiny. And if you've been holding back, if you haven't been, if there's been fear or anxiety or worry or stress about 
taking a chance, making those changes. I can see in your reading that this is very spiritually motivated for you. And you are very divinely guided and protected. And the changes and shifts that you are being guided to take are going to bring you this peace. And you are deserving of happiness and wish fulfillment. But sometimes we can be blocking our own development, our own growth, and our own freedom to choose what is best for ourselves because we get into situations or relationships where we feel that it's beyond our control. We give our power away to others to make those choices and decisions for us or, or we make our own decisions, but we make them with everybody else's well-being in our heart instead of our own. And it's hard sometimes to be selfish, but if it's selfishness that comes in a very spiritual, loving way, there's nothing wrong with loving yourself enough to say enough is enough and it's time for a change. So be open to receiving whatever messages are coming for you whether they're coming in spiritually or physically, be willing to look inside of yourself to examine what's causing you to feel a certain way. Look at your life. Are you happy with it? Are there changes that need to be made? And if there are, can you find the courage and discernment to make those changes? And can you love yourself? enough to pursue happiness and joy with vitality instead of apathy. I think that your higher self is challenging you to grow and to move beyond limited beliefs or limited relationships or situations that have held you back for far too long. And I think it's a very spiritual time for you. So, quiet and nature and ruminating would be very beneficial. So I love you and I hope this is good news. I hope this is, is change for the better. It certainly feels like it has the potential to be, but I also feel like um, it's scary for you. I don't see you making a choice. I'm going to be honest. I don't see twos anywhere. This is more about divine guidance. This is about the universe stepping in and making some kind of change for you. And I know that when tower moments happen, that can be uncomfortable. You know, it could be somebody breaking up with us. It could be getting a pink slop, slip at our work. It could be um, a health concern, you know, where you've, have a mini heart attack and realize that you have to start treating yourself better or whatever. It's like I said, it's a general reading. This tower is going to be many things for many people. When I take it over to the extended, I'm going to clarify every one of these and we'll get a bigger picture, a more pinpointed picture, um, which will exclude some people and include others but we'll get as much information as we can so everybody gets guidance. So if you'd like to join us, there's a link in the description box below. Just a reminder, if you resonate with being a twin flame um, or, or on an ascension journey because of a catalyst, a catalyst being a relationship, someone you met that, that brought, triggered you for a massive awakening, um, you might want to consider joining Patreon at the 1111 level because that's where we're doing our shadow work and we're, we're focusing on our own healing in order to prepare for union. And um, if you want to learn how to do divination, I am teaching workshops in the 2222, which is the VIP all access path. 
I already taught a basics tarot class, intuitive tarot. And I am currently working on a numerology course. It's almost completed. It will be um, published in the 2222 level of Patreon uh, probably in the next week. Um, I'm trying to get these all out, and then I'm going to focus all my attention on completing that. It's almost done. So um, if you're interested in learning numerology, after I do numerology, I'm going to work on some other kind of divination. Um, it's a continuing thing. As we complete one, I create another one until I run out of things I know how to do, and then we'll find something else. But if you're interested, just check it, check out Patreon. And if this is where we part, then I will see you next month. Namaste.